Now we can get to packing. What do you think, Pico? Coming weekly on the to-do list. Yeah, it's a prescription. Hello friends, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my pack and prep video for my first ever trip to Europe. I'm so excited to be doing this because finally I'm forcing myself to kind of get ahead of this whole packing thing. I've had a really bad track record of packing the day before, not even the day before, the night before a trip and it's really been stressful for the past couple of years. For my honeymoon, I came home at midnight from a bridal party thing that my family was hosting for us. I start packing at 2 a.m., finished packing at 4 a.m., headed out the door at 6 a.m. and we were at the airport at 7 for a 9 a.m. flight. The whole thing was very stressful and I told myself never again, but here we are. I think this is a lot better. I'm starting two days before now. But to be fair to myself, I made a very extensive list way ahead of time and started doing a lot of prep work that wasn't necessarily packing related, but it really was helpful. Now I don't feel very stressed out. I don't feel overwhelmed. I feel like I'm sort of on top of things. So let's go through my list together. I know I haven't explained where I'm going yet, but it's a little bit complicated and I actually have to look at my itinerary to remember exactly like the order of cities and countries and things like that. So I will get into that very soon. So I've categorized my to-do list in three categories. There is one, appointments. So these are outside things. Second category is to do things at home. And then there's the third category, which is last minute shopping which is the least fun in my opinion, but it had to be done. So the itinerary, what my husband and I are doing is we are flying to Paris first. We're gonna spend about four days there. Then we are gonna fly to Rome, meet up with my family over there. We're gonna spend a few days in Rome, do some sightseeing. Then we're gonna go to Florence, do some sightseeing over there. Then we're gonna go to Amalfi Coast. From there, we're gonna split up again. My parents are gonna go to Rome. We're gonna go either to Sorrento and then Paris or maybe straight to Paris. Again, that is another connecting flight that we have not decided on. Let's get started. Appointments outside. Nails, optometrist. Don't even get me started. Why am I going to the optometrist two days before my trip? Great question. I went in to order contact lenses. They told me that my prescription expired. It expires every two years. So I had to make an appointment with my optometrist. Thankfully, they fit me in. Here's my outfit of the day. Appointment number one, the optometrist. Third outside appointment is go have lunch with my grandparents because I don't see them that frequently and I have to make time before going away for a longer trip. Meeting my grandparents for lunch before leaving so they happen to have the best view ever. This view never gets old. I always love coming to this building because it has the best mirrors just all over. Everywhere you turn, there's more mirrors. The things that need to still get done our nail appointment because yes everyone did notice on my instagram that these things are atrocious now let's go get our nails done i am so relieved i am a new woman my nails are clean they are looking so minimalist and good no more what did someone call it on instagram they were saying it's french tips at this point because my nails had grown out so long and i had been cutting it guys but anyway new nails new me I do really like simple clean plain nails and i did like a short almond shaped nail and the color was opi what was it i took a picture i will insert it in here my at home to-do list Laundry, pack, do all the laundry because I don't want anything festering in there while I'm gone. That'll be gross though. So. Now we can get to packing. I want to show you guys my table of the, the items I'm going to be taking on the airplane with me, like on my carry-on slash in my handbag. Of course the skincare is on there, but that's not coming on the airplane with me, but it's just, I'll show you. These are a couple of books. I started The Phantom of the Opera. So excited to be reading this one. I'm also taking this book, Thinking in Eights, and that is a book that my friend published. It's a book of poetry. Taking my sunscreen because it's important to put on sunscreen in the airplane. This is a Korean brand. I've never tried this before. Some Kit Kats from Japan. This is coming on the airplane with us because definitely snacking on this i have my newly acquired they didn't even get to give me my actual contacts that i ordered so they gave me a tester sample but there's 10 pairs in there so i'll have 
contacts for 10 days that I'm in Europe and that's okay, it's all right. The rest of the time I can wear glasses. These are my two new pairs of glasses and then my glasses that are non-prescription for when I'm wearing contacts. My eye drops because I have the driest eyes in the world and then all my skincare is over here and pimple patches. If you know, you know you need to take this on vacation just in case things go wrong. <laughs> I don't love this perfume, it's not my favorite, but I don't know, it's pretty compact and I kind of want to get back into it. I am not one to pack more than one perfume on a trip. We are sticking with that one. We'll just see how that goes. I'm pretty minimalist with my makeup. So I'm taking in some tinted sunscreen, flawless filter, Charlotte Tilbury, milk blush, and then the rest of the itty bitty things. Some stuff just to like maintain the eyebrows, but I'm probably not gonna be using these things a lot. I'm taking this just in case of a broken nail, but my nails are already done, so I will not be needing this. I have some hair stuff, so my Silk scrunchies always coming with me. This one is a little twilly. I either use it around my neck, around my hair. I also use it on my bag, super versatile. I love this and it comes with me on most of my vacations. This little headband in case I wanna keep my hair back. And that is it for the items that are coming on the plane with me, except not all of them are. Like the makeup and the skincare really isn't coming on the plane with me. For bags, I am kind of considering a few different options. I don't wanna think bad thoughts. I just hear that the different cities around Europe have become kind of unsafe, so I don't want things getting stolen I don't want to get robbed and I just don't really know if it's safe to take bags I know they'll be on me I'm not gonna be setting them down and taking my eyes off them and things like that but I just don't know do they really rob them right off your shoulder because of that I don't think I'm gonna be risking taking any Chanel or anything like that also I want to have a good time I don't want to be thinking about my bags I still want to look cute I want to still put together nice outfits while I'm there take some nice pictures have some memorable looks so I'm just gonna be taking it Kind of easy. I'll show you the options that I have laid out for the bags. I am for sure gonna be taking my Le Mer bag because this one is crossbody, it's hands-free, it has a zipper, and it just, it fits a whole lot. And I like the fact that it's so soft that you can stuff it if you need to. I partially considered this just because it's sort of woven leather and it's sort of tropical vibes. And I'm going to Amalfi Coast, so I thought this would be nice. But I'm trying to stay away from anything that's too easy to access. And this doesn't have a zipper or anything like that. It's just a drawstring closing. So I'm not sure this will be coming with me. But I do love the look of it. It's just such a nice bag. As for my next bag, I don't know if this one's coming with me. It's probably the least likely. I really like it because it's a crossbody. I can wear it nicely like this it doesn't sit so low that i'm unaware of what's happening with my bag it's very pretty and it goes really nicely with spring summer looks but i'm kind of between this one and then the mini jody bag this one also has a formal looking appearance but it's not hands free like this one but the capacity is for sure better. You're gonna have to excuse the noise because my dog is just chewing on a little toy over there and it's making some noise. This one is more likely to come with me, but I don't know if this is a viable option in terms of like, if I'm putting on a lot of sunscreen and then if I'm constantly reapplying my creams and things like that, would I make a mess of this bag? I don't want that to happen. I already got this pre-loved. It does have a lot of wear and tear on it, but that doesn't mean I wanna trash it on this trip. This one, I'm not sure. I might have to like put some things in it and see how the capacity is. Should we just try it right now? I already have my daily things in my Le Mer bag, so I'm just gonna see how much of it I can transfer to this bag. Okay, that did fit everything, except not my AirPods. Let's just try this out. See how that goes. It fits! Oh my goodness. Okay, you're coming with me. You know what? This is a shocking turn of events. The next contestant is this vintage Bottega Veneta hobo bag. I don't know if I should bring it simply because it looks so much like this one. It's just like a different color and different size, but am I really gonna bring two different sizes of the same bag essentially? I don't know. But the thing that I like about it is that it has a lot of capacity. This one fared really well when I was traveling to Korea and I took it with me. But again, am I gonna get use out of it if I have this one? I think even on the plane right there, I'll be taking my Le Mer bag. I like the fact that this is crossbody and it just uh, feels more hands-free and secure. Anywho, all right, moving on from the bags, let's talk shoes. I want at least one pair of boots, but I do not know if I want heel boots or flat boots because I want one pair that kind of elevates my outfits and looks a little bit more formal. Now we're stuck. I do not want to bring any like heels heels because if I have to bring any type of elevated shoe, let's just say, like heels, I would much rather wear boots because it has more protection, it has more comfort. I have some contenders. Right, these are all the shoes that I'm pretty confident about right now and I have 
kind of a good idea which outfits I'd be wearing them with. So I have my New Balance 530s, excellent walking shoes. They're gonna get lots of use over there. Then I have my Sambas, less casual, but still comfortable. Prada loafers, these guys I've never actually done a lot of walking in, but I know that they've never made me uncomfortable in any way. So I'm hoping they'll be okay. We shall see. What do you think, Pico? And then for the boots, I have these three options. I'm definitely only bringing one pair of boots because boots are just so heavy and they take up so much room. These ones, in case I want to dress up some looks, they have a pretty low heel. As far as heeled boots go, these guys are so comfy. They're an excellent style and I know I can wear them with basically all the items I'm bringing. And then the boulet boots. These are vintage boulet boots. They're very comfortable. I have also never tried wearing them for a long time, but to me, it seems like it would be comfy. They will not go with all the looks, but they'll go with quite a few of the looks. And then I have these platform boots. They are not too high either. It's just that at the end of the day, heeled boots are not as comfy as sneakers or flats. So I don't know how long I'll last in them. I don't wanna get uncomfortable, but if I have any half days where I'm coming home halfway through the day i think these boots would be a really good option and they would go with quite a few of my outfits thing is though they're not that dressy like they're not dressy like these boots so if i'm taking boots to dress up my looks i don't think these will be doing that job but again am i okay with that is that an okay thing i don't know Put that on pause for now, let's move on. I know we had a lot to talk about with the boots, but now the next complicated issue are the jackets. What are we doing with the jackets? I would personally love to just take some blazers and some leather jackets, but I know that's not a realistic option because I don't even have thick skin when it comes to cold weather. I easily get cold. So I have a couple of crop but warm jacket options. I was wondering between this little cropped teddy jacket. I think it's quite versatile and it keeps me pretty warm. Option number one. And then option number two would be this shearling denim jacket. And I feel like it goes with a similar type of outfits. I don't know if I love the denim look of it because when I go on vacation, I do like to dress up my looks a little bit and I like my outerwear to be kind of an elevating effect. Although I do love this one, I find it really functional and warm. I don't know if it would do what I want it to do. These are the two options for my crop jacket for longer coats. These two looks are kind of similar. This one is a little bit more minimalist and it can be styled more ways, I think. And then I have this vintage one. The only thing with this one, I like that it's heavy. It makes it warmer, but I feel like this would make our packing a lot harder. It's so heavy. I love the looks that I've worn with both of them. Just don't know which one would serve me better on this trip. Has anyone noticed my baby just sitting there with the bag? He wants to get packed and come with me and I'm down for that. I want you to come with us. The third category is just trench coat. My one and only trench coat. I really like this one because it's so oversized and I can wear really warm things underneath. But anyway, this one holds up. This one's good. <sighs> That's it for the jackets. Oh my god, they're heavy. Okay, now let's discuss the clothes because the outfits I'm planning in my mind are looking so cute. I'm not going to try on the outfits because one, it's so hot in my apartment and I just, I don't want to sweat in these clothes. They're all just newly washed and ready to be packed. Two, I kind of like the element of the surprise. I'm pretty sure all these outfits go together and I don't like wearing my outfits before a trip. I don't know what it is. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that every piece that I'm picking out right now is versatile enough to mix and match and create new outfits with. We're going to France. I want to have cute looks. We're going to have to take some mini skirts. So what we're doing is, for functional reasons, we're going to take this one because it's a skirt. It's cute. It will kind of protect me from like flashing anyone because it has shorts underneath and it has belt loops so I can always dress it up a little bit more with a belt and then the next skirt is this chisel skirt from Aritzia same concept it's just a really good simple black mini skirt this one's not a skirt but it's kind of like longer on me so it's good and again it has belt loops and I'm bringing one belt for all my looks I'm not bringing two belts it's just it's just not gonna work I would in an ideal world I would like to take a brown belt and a black belt but I'm thinking of sharing one checked bag with my husband, so I have to like reel it in. I have to be kind of careful with, with what I'm packing. Those are the two skirts. And for my other bottoms, I was thinking one pair of jeans and one pair of trousers, and I took the best of both categories. My Levi's 501s, I don't think I've worn any piece of clothing as many times as I've worn this. They go with everything, so this is a no-brainer for me. And then for the trousers, I just got these. Um, and I just made a reel on them on Instagram. Um, I like them a lot. It's just that the waist is a little bit big on me, but they're wool and they're quite thick. And so if I'm going to Paris and I'm gonna be cold, I'd rather wear 
something like this that's gonna keep me warm. That's it for the bottoms, I think. One pair of wool trousers, my jeans, and then two pairs of skirts, and that is all. But then in the same category, I'm gonna say I wanted to take one dress, just one. I know that's not gonna be the most versatile piece. I'm going to Italy and I just, I wanted to take one, one dress. This polka dot dress that I've worn so, so, so many times. I got this right before going on my honeymoon and I, I've gotten so much wear out of it. I wear it a ton and I call this my pretty woman dress because Julia Roberts wore it to that like horse race. This is also going in my bottoms category because I don't know. The belt that I decided to take with me is this one. I love this square buckle. It's just the perfect minimalist belt. I just recently got it from Aritzia and I've already worn it so many times. For my sweaters, I'll be bringing two really thick ones. This one is a really big chunky knit, a cos sweater and I love the little pattern on it. This little turtleneck sweater, it's not the best quality. It's from Zara and it's like almost falling apart but I just, I really like it for a layering piece. I'm not bringing any more sweaters other than that. Oh my goodness, I forgot there's one more bottom. This is the last one, but it was kind of a no-brainer for me because if I'm going to Amalfi Coast, I have to bring my maxi skirt. My white maxi skirt? Are you kidding? I love this one. In my other YouTube video where I was recreating Pinterest looks, I mentioned I wanted to create some looks that I could potentially wear on vacation and this will be one of them. It's just a little bit of a difficult skirt to walk in because like I didn't realize but when I'm walking, I end up kicking it and it gets caught between my legs. I don't know, maybe I'm not a long skirt girly, but I'm still gonna wear it. And then my last pieces are just mix and match pieces. I honestly have no proper plans for these ones. This is just one of my favorite oversized button down shirts. I feel like this one would be layered really nicely over the turtleneck. It also go really nicely over a white t-shirt or white tank top which I still haven't grabbed my basics, like I still haven't grabbed my layering pieces. Do that right after, but these are just like my statement pieces. And then this one is just a really good blazer. I don't even know if it will be a warm layering piece. I just really want to bring it for the, for the look, like for how good it's going to look. But I'm not sure if it's going to be a good functional piece and if it's worth the weight that it's going to add to our baggage. But anyway, I'm not really planning on doing a lot of shopping in Paris and in Italy, so that's why I'm not trying to keep my luggage wide open before going there. My whole plan is just to enjoy the sights, enjoy my time with my family and my husband, and just focus on having a really great time with everyone. I don't wanna go to outlets and go to malls and spend lots of time in shops. If I ever wanted to do Europe shopping, I think I would make a trip for that purpose. But this is not it because it's my first trip ever to Europe. And then my third category of things that I need to do was last minute shopping. Now listen, I told myself I am not gonna do any more last minute clothes shopping for any trips because let's rewear what we already have. There is no way that I need new clothes for any place that I'm going to. And I really stuck with that. I didn't do any clothes shopping, but I had to do some other type of shopping. For example, I needed to get a new camera, which is what I'm filming on today. It's so cute. I'm so excited about this one. It's the Osmo 3. It's an early birthday present from my husband, and he let me open it early because he said, we're going to Europe. It's a vlogging camera. You might as well start vlogging on it as soon as you get it. I'm filming on it right now. I'm really happy with it. Let me know if you guys noticed the difference because before I was just filming on my iPhone. That was great and all, but it would fill my storage like once a week and that wasn't a vibe. Number two of the last minute shopping thing, sunglasses and regular glasses. I am a glasses girly. I don't wear contacts every single day. And I happen to be able to collaborate with the glasses store here in Vancouver, which I'll be sharing about on Instagram very soon. I needed to do a skincare refill, but I wasn't really feeling all the Sephora stuff I've been buying. It wasn't really showing results. So I thought I'd go the Asian skincare route. I ordered in a bunch of Japanese and Korean skincare and I can't wait to get them. Doing a little unboxing and then also taking those to Europe with me because I'm out of vitamin C, I'm out of retinol. I'm out of all the active ingredients skincare. This refill was way overdue. The last thing that has its own category, it's just not even part of any of these things, is pick out my airport outfit. That is actually one of my favorite things to do because I kind of like looking a little bit, you know, chic and nice, but I also love the challenge of making it comfortable, travel friendly, because I get cold in the airplane very easily, but I also get hot really easily. So the key is layers, the key is stretchy and comfortable. And yeah, that's gonna be my last thing, my reward task after I do all the other annoying pesky tasks. But anyway, one more time for the nails. And I think we're done. Anyway, wish us luck. Goodbye. Don't stress, don't stress. Go, 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 go.
going on one hour of sleep. Hi, hi. So it's 6 30 a.m. right now. It says we'll get there at 7 03. Boarding is at 8 10. The flight is at 9. Are you excited to join us in Rome? Dude, I'm so not travel ready. I don't know why. In the near future. They're not hyped yet. The ruins have not been cast. Oh my goodness, can't upload any of that language on YouTube. Oh, <laughs>